Okay, so this is probably the coolest thing to come out of the movie. Um, well, I actually don't know if there's a word for something that is both cool and awful. Last night I was scrolling on TikTok. I don't use TikTok, but I, I lurk. That app scares me, but I lurk. And this creator, Rachel Lovely, bear with me. I just learned how to do this. I'm a million years old, shocker. She does a whole video about all the things that she does in social situations to keep herself safe. And she said that she was inspired by Woman of the Hour, even though she hasn't seen it and she might not see it because she doesn't do scary movies, which is totally, totally fine. This is so much cooler and bigger than that. And then all the women in the comments are talking about all the things that they do to stay safe. And in this video, Rachel really takes the time to say that none of this is to say that if you had just known this when something bad happened to you, everything would have been fine and it's not meant to shame. And that really warmed my heart because I feel like on this press tour, I've really been banging this drum of the idea that there is no such thing as guaranteed protection from someone who is determined to harm you. And yet I do think there are things that we should be sharing so that they might be in the back of our mind if that moment comes that we need to call upon them. There's also this creator, Lee Collins, and she talks about surviving a violent home invasion and being in a toxic relationship in the aftermath of that. And she's an incredible storyteller. That has nothing to do with the movie. This is just a creator that I think is really inspiring. And in case you're wondering what it's like to be scrolling in bed like a lonely little potato and hear your own name in a TikTok, it is kind of a jolt of lightning where you're like, oh my God, that was my, that was my name. Can she see me? Can she see me right now? So if you say my name in a video, please be nice, not because I deserve it, but because I might come across it while I'm a little stoned in bed. Anyway, this was awesome and I hate that we have to talk about it, but it is a very cool thing to come out of the movie, especially from someone who might not ever see it.